Our lab today is the solubilities rules lab. What we're doing in this case is we're trying to find out do polar and nonpolar things mix? Do polar and polar things mix? Do nonpolar and nonpolar things mix? And then we're going to determine if a chemical glycerin is polar or nonpolar by applying the rules. And then the beginning part here, you can see how it describes what a polar and a nonpolar molecule is. But on the next page, we have these charts. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down whether you think these chemicals are polar or nonpolar. Just look in the um, materials section, and it'll tell you which one's polar, which one's nonpolar. Then we're going to mix them together. The way we're going to do this is we're going to put a small amount of each liquid into two wells on a spot plate, fill one with iodine, fill one with sodium chloride, and we'll take a look to see what happens. So here's my spot plate, and I'm going to fill the first two wells about half full with distilled water. Then the second two wells I'm going to fill with mineral oil, nonpolar mineral oil, about half full. The third well I'm going to fill with corn oil. <coughs> That's the same stuff that you can find in the grocery store, regular old corn oil. That's also listed, whether it's polar or nonpolar, that's also listed in your materials section. And the last well I'm going to fill with the unknown substance glycerin. We don't know if it's polar or nonpolar yet. Now, glycerin is a very thick liquid, it's somewhat hard to pull out. So I'm going to try to get a little bit out of here I'm using glycerin. In the fourth well, there's some glycerin. And there's some glycerin. Just about half full. Now to the first set of wells, we're going to put a small amount of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, we know that's ionic, but it's going to act just like a polar substance. Because just like a polar substance, it has a positive end, which would be the sodium, and a negative end, which would be the chlorine. So I'm putting a little bit of sodium chloride in each one of the liquids. And then we're going to stir them up to see what happens. And on the other side, we are going to put a small amount of iodine. This is iodine, I2 which is a nonpolar substance. And I only want to use a little tiny bit of this because it's uh, really tough to clean up. So I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of iodine into the water, into the mineral oil, into the corn oil, and into the glycerin. So now we're going to wait a couple minutes. We're going to stir these up. We're going to wait a couple minutes. We're going to check to see what our results look like. So here's our results. You can see in the first well, the sodium chloride dissolved in the water, so that's soluble. But in the two oils, the sodium chloride is still there. Those would be considered insoluble. And the glycerin, and this took a really long time, but the glycerin, you'll see that most or all of the salt is already dissolved, so that would be soluble. On the iodine side, you can see how these two in the middle, you can see the color spreading out. These two are soluble. The iodine is soluble with those two liquids. But the iodine is not soluble with the water or the glycerin, because you can still see all the little tiny particles of each one. So that's the first part of the lab. You should be able to write down whether something is soluble or insoluble in those four different liquids. So in the second part, I'm going to add 3 milliliters of water and 3 milliliters of mineral oil to my first two. And then 3 milliliters of water and glycerin and water and corn oil and mineral oil and corn oil 
and corner them in glycerin, then mineral oil in glycerin. And we're going to shake them up and we're going to see if they mix together. If they mix together, we call them miscible. If they do not mix together, we call them immiscible. So, first I'm going to add water to all the water tubes. Water. Water. Water to those tubes. Then to the first tube, I'm going to add mineral oil. About three milliliters. To the second one, I'm going to add that really thick liquid, that glycerin. That might take a second. And that's enough glycerin. Put it right there in the center. And the third one is going to be water and corn oil. And that's water. And corn oil. Now, this one is going to be mineral oil and corn oil, so I'll add some corn oil there. And the next one's going to be glycerin and corn oil, so I'll add some corn oil there. And then I'll add the mineral oil. the corn oil. Corn oil, and corn oil. And then I will add the glycerin to finish up my last two tubes. And that should give me all six tubes I need to make. Now you're going to be filling out the chart. The chart's got like eight different spots on it. But sometimes the results are going to repeat, like you'll have a spot for water and mineral oil and a spot for mineral oil and water. So let's take a look at what we've got with these things. For our first two, if we shake it up, you see right away, we can see a separating line right here. We can see two layers. They do not mix. Mineral oil and water do not mix. Immiscible. The second one is glycerin. And if you take this one, give it a little bit of a shake. If you look closely. There's no line there. The water and the glycerin actually mix together. Whereas the next one, we have water and corn oil. And again, you see that layer right in between them? It's that layer right there in between them. They are not mixing. Our next one, mineral oil and corn oil. Take a look at that. It all looks the same all the way through. There's no line. So the mineral oil and the corn oil are mixed. Now, the glycerin. The glycerin and the corn oil. This one's a little bit tricky to see. Because if you look at it, if you look at the colors, you can find a spot where you can see the colors. It's very hard to see, but there's a separating line between the two liquids right there. It's very hard to see, especially on camera, but those two things, move it around a little bit more so you can detect it right about in the center. It's going to focus well enough. But there is a separating line. It's very hard to see. Let's just pull up some light here. Ah, maybe you can see it that way. See that area right in here where it looks different? That's the separating line between those. So that's corn oil and glycerin. And the last one is mineral oil and glycerin. And we mix those two together. And 
Again, when you take a quick glance at it, you might, might be able to see right down here there's a line. Maybe if you hold it up to the light, so I can get you looking through some, some light here. See that little line right there? Really hard to see because they're both about the same color. But right about there, that's where they separate. So they are not mixing together. So those are your results for the second part of the lab. Now watch the second video. It'll help you interpret what you just saw.